Let's talk about navigation drawer. So in a lot of apps that you use on a day-to-day -day basis, you might see a drawer like this. It's, it's something like your normal app looks like this, but you have a small icon present which allows you to view additional menu items, you know, and then when you click on these menu items, then it loads a different screen. Okay, so this is a very good feature to, um, to have shortcuts in this kind of navigation drawer. Okay, and it's uh, pretty easy to implement in Android, um, although it does require some coding. So let's see how you can add this kind of feature to your app. And for illustration purpose, I will be using the same app that we have created, Theme Demo app. So if you have not been following so far, you can take a look at the source code for this app and you will be able to understand. It's a pretty straightforward app. Uh, we haven't done much basically except for support library and theme stuff. Okay, so let's get started. So there are a few steps you need to do. First thing is if you have noticed, um, so basically this is the main activity which gets displayed and in this activity as you can see you have this main fra main fragment which is displayed by default which is like a blank fragment and then you have another fragment which is of a lesser width uh, max height less width and which has these navigation options okay so what you need to do is in the main XML, I mean the main activity XML, layout XML, um, for first thing is uh, you need to use a drawer layout. Okay, this is the layout which is used to accomplish this kind of navigation drawer and it comes from the v4 app support library. Okay, I think by default you should have this library in your uh, Gradle file. Just check it once you should have something like this v4 if you don't have then you have to add it because this functionality is available in this support library okay so that's the first step so you use this layout rest everything remains pretty much same then you have a frame layout here the frame layout is the same layout which you are seeing which is the main layout okay which is the blank fragment so we'll be replacing the frame layout with the a blank fragment basically and then you have a list view and this list view is the drawer uh, I mean the list of items in the drawer and it has a set of attributes basically so one attribute like width it, it's a lesser width like 200 dp then you have the choice mode single choice which means a user can select one choice at a time you have certain other attributes you have a layout gravity which defines where from where the user can access this uh, drawer so for us it will be at the start okay so this is what the, these are the changes to be made in the layout xml file so you can view all these changes i'll be checking them in so you can view all these changes on github i'll provide a link for that then you come to your main activity okay and in the main activity there are a few couple of things basically one is like uh, obviously the list view needs to be populated so what um, the simple thing which I have done is you get the list view um, okay you get a reference to the list view and then you uh, set an adapter like you've seen earlier uh, set an adapter using an array of string elements so this is like this is a um, this is a string array I've created in the strings XML file which has the three options you were seeing home support and contact so this is the array being used for the list view adapter and the second thing is uh, this fragment transaction stuff this is basically replacing the um, the frame layout that you saw so you have a frame layout here so this is being replaced uh, using this set of code with a new uh, with a new fragment that I've created. It's called a top fragment and it's a, again a simple out of the box fragment that has been created. So that's it, this is this piece of code that has been added and the main magic happens in this content main XML file which defines the drawer layout. Once you do all this, run your app and you'll be able to see this drawer show up. 
so you can play around with it there's a lot of things you can accomplish um, you can also change the UI like the background color the fonts uh, you can have you know divider lines and stuff like that and plus uh, currently you don't see any icon here you normally see like three dash lines so we'll try to add that in future videos uh, but those things are the additional things which can be built you know, on top of this so I hope you get an idea, uh, view the source for this app uh, and I think you'll be able to understand and follow along. Okay, thanks.